Okay, so we all dream about owning an amazing custom-built boutique base, right? Well, with the myriad of options out there, I thought I'd help you out by putting together a hit list of who I think are the godfathers of the boutique base world. Let's get into it. So in no particular order, I'm gonna kick this off with one of my favorites, Ken Smith. Ken Smith was founded in 1978 in New York by, you've got it, Ken Smith. Ken Smith was super important when it came to the development of the electric bass and actually developed or introduced many, many of the innovations used on today's basses, which are now industry standards. Some of these include printed circuit board electronics, graphite inlaid necks, detented balance and EQ controls, the classic wide string, five string bass, and taper core bass strings as well. And I'm sure that many of you old schoolers like myself will remember when pretty much every top bass player in the world was playing a Ken Smith. Ready Freddie Washington, Melvin Lee Davis, Gary Granger, Fred Hammond, Ricky Minor, Al Turner, and many, many more. Now, price-wise, you're probably looking at around $4,000 on the low side for a used US-built Ken Smith bass, and that can go right up to around nine to $10,000 if you wanna add all of the bells and whistles. Now, they build four, five, six, and seven string basses, and you have two main body shape options to go with, the BT, and then the more slimmed down modern looking bass, I think it's called the BSR. And Ken has a strict policy with specific woods he uses as well, as in he knows what he likes and he knows what sound he is going for. Simply put, if you dig the Ken Smith sound, you gotta go get a Smith. Now next up is Federa basses and shh, come here. I'm actually giving this bass away. It's worth over $12,000 and you can win it. So if you want to find out how, stick around. Now, Federa was founded in 1983 in Brooklyn, New York by Vinnie Federa and Joey Loricella. Now, I'm sure you've heard many, many players who play Federa instruments, right? Victor Wooten, Anthony Jackson, Tom Kennedy, Felix Pastorius, and many, many others. And to me, Federa is like the ultimate bass custom shop. You pick the body shape, and we'll get to those options in just a second, and then they'll basically build you whatever you want, as in everything is customizable. Now, the main body shapes are the Monarch, the Emperor, the Emperor II, the Imperial, the Imperial II, the Anthony Jackson, also known as the AJ, and the Matt Garrison, also known as the MG. Price-wise, you're probably looking at around four to $5,000 for a used Federa built in the US, and that can go right up to around, well, how far do you want to go? Actually, I checked out their price list right now. Their top instrument is $35,000, and that is for an Anthony Jackson Presentation 2 instrument. <laughs> As I said, if you don't want to drop thousands of dollars on a bass, I'm actually giving this bass away. My personal MG or Matt Garrison signature bass, which we knew would be over $12,000, and to enter the giveaway, it's totally free. All you need to do is click the link in the description below and follow the instructions. Oh, and you'll also see all of the other bases I'm giving away right now as well. Almost $50,000 worth of prizes, actually. Click the link below and make sure you get entered in this giveaway. Now, next up on the list, we have the amazing instruments of F bass. In fact, come here, come here. You can actually win this one as well. Link is in the description. Now, F bass was founded in 1978. That's when I was founded as well, in Canada by George Furlanetto. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard some of the amazing artists that play these instruments, Elaine Caron, Etienne Mbappe, Joe Cleveland, the amazing Rich Brown, Tamer Fell, Saya Gray, Kenneth K-Bass Diggs, and many, many others. There are two main themes that you can go with the BN series and the VF series, and both are incredible. The BN series, and this is a BN right here, the BN series for me is like a super smooth jazz bass vibe, but with some extra sheen and polish on top, and the playability and build quality are 
to die for. Now on the flip side, you have the VF series, which has a more vintage slant to it with a slightly different body shape that thankfully still retains the F-Base vibe and a PJ pickup combination coupled with the world famous F-Base preamp. And in general, the pickups on the VF are Aguilar pickups, right? Now, side note, I just gotta say that the F-Base preamp is one of the best bass preamps I have ever used. And if you've played an F-Base in the past, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Now, price-wise, you're probably looking at around $3,000 on the very low end, and that can go right up to around eight dollars or $9,000, depending on what specs you go for. And hey, I mentioned it earlier, so I feel a little guilty about mentioning it again, but check it out, I'm going to anyway. You can actually win this base and the Federa base. It's part of the massive $50,000 base giveaway we're doing right now. If you want to check it out, click the link in the descriptions and follow the instructions to enter it completely free. But before you shoot off, hang on, we've actually got two Two more amazing manufacturers to get to. So next up, we've got the one and only MTD. And unfortunately, I haven't got an MTD here with me today, but I've got some killer clips for you, so stick around. Now, MTD was founded in 1994 by the legendary luthier, Michael Tobias. Now, I am sure that you've heard some of the amazing artists that play MTDs, like Andrew Goucher, Bubby Lewis, Norm Stockton, Justin Rains, and many, many others. They build four strings, five strings, six strings, and seven string basses, just like the other guys do, but with MTDs, primarily, you're gonna have a bolt-on neck, okay? They have a multitude of wood combinations that are available, and for pickups, they generally use Bartolini's. For the body shapes, there are two main themes, the 3.5 range and the Saratoga range, which is Mike's take on a slightly offset style of look. Now, price-wise, you're probably looking at around $3,000 on the very low end, and that can go right up to around eight or $9,000, depending on what specs and bells and whistles you go for. Let's hear it for the master playing his MTD six string signature, the one, the only, Andrew Goucher. <laughs> Now, last but not least, we've got the amazing Sadowski guitars and basses. Sadowski was founded in 1979 by the amazing Roger Sadowski. Now, I'm sure you've heard of some of the artists that play his instruments like Will Lee, Verdine White of Earth, Wind & Fire, Tal Wilkenfell, Ricky Minor, and many, many others. I would say that Sadowski, their bread and butter is actually traditionally Fender-style instruments in terms of shape, right? But with an added extra Sadowski edge, right? An incredible playability and incredible build quality as well. Now for the body options, there are a few themes to go for that all use the classic Fender J or P shape as their foundation. I should also say that there is also a bunch of other options too, which include the Sadowski Active Circuit and soap bar pickups as well if you want to mix things up a little bit and get more of a modern sounding vibe. Now price-wise, you're probably looking at around $3,000 on the low end for a used New York City Sadowski, and that can go right up to around eight or $9,000 dollars depending on what specs you go for. In terms of customization, there are different wood combos and pickup combos you can go for. And if you want guidance, choosing the right Sadowski for you, Roger and his team will do a stellar job of helping you choose the perfect instrument. Before we call it a day, I also want to touch on some honorable mentions. And remember, if I've missed anybody out, stick them in the comments. We've got the OG, Carl Thompson. We've got Alembic. We've got Overwater Bases. Shout out to Chris and the lads here in the UK. We've got Mike Lull Bases, Elric, Roscoe, Wall Bases, Marlow, Padula, Schold, and last but not least, Muckleroy. I'm sure I've missed some out, so make sure you stick them in the comments. And remember, I am giving away $50,000 worth of base gear. It is totally free to enter, and all you need to do is click the link in the description below and follow the instructions. Now, with that said, take it easy, and as always, I'll see you in the shed.